Well, hello, Stife superfans, and welcome to October, the colorful month of October, which explains in part my orange shirt for you today. I would love to kick off the month with a wonderful unboxing for you. This is an item that came from California to us here on the East Coast, and it felt like it came perhaps on the back of a donkey. It took that long to get here. That's because I was so excited for its arrival, and it has arrived, and I would love to unbox this with you today. Now, this box is really big. This box measures 20 inches by 12 inches by 10 inches, and I'm going to hold it up for you just a little bit so you can see. Nice big, big box, and because of the circumstances of my hand, which I'll show you, I had a little encounter with some hedge clippers, which are much sharper than scissors. Trust me on that, and don't try it yourself. Um, I have sort of pre-opened the tape of the box very gingerly, so I wouldn't do it on camera and hurt myself again or take six hours to do so. So with the true confession that it is already partially untaped but not unboxed, let's see what's in this wonderful box, okay? So. It is stuffed with peanuts, these peanutty items, which tend to get all over the floor. So I'm gonna to try to be very, very careful. I believe there are two of these items in here. So let me figure out the best way to do this. So I won't need a cleaning team to come in afterwards when we're done. Okay, so let me pull something out. Oops. Oops, let me see if they're together or apart. Oh, there's there's two. Okay. So here's one item. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna pull out the other right here. Okay, okay so we have double trouble or double fun. This depends how you look at it. Put the box down. And hope that the pug girls don't go crazy with its contents. Okay. What do you think's in here? Let's take a look. Okay. I'm gonna actually undo them both here. Oh, he's very well wrapped. Could have come from Mars, that's okay. On and on and on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 how lovely. But I'm gonna hold you in suspense and open this one too and show you them both at the same time because my gut feeling is things will be twice as nice or even more than that. Let me quickly do this. Oops, no peeking. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Here we go. I was tempted by these for quite some time and finally the time was right to bring them here to Cambridge. All right, so let me show you what we've got here. Oh, wow. Oh boy. Are you ready? Ready for some little puppy love? Would you look at that? We have a mama. And a baby. You see what this is? These are Stipe's very early bulldogs in the form of Buster Brown's dog, Teague. Look how lovely they are. Let's look at each of them separately and go over their highlights. So this guy's made out of short pile plush, which doesn't feel like mohair. It's kind of like wool-ish, like a, sort of like a yucky, yucky woolen coat would feel like this, or an old woolen coat. He's got little mohair on his feet and on his chest, and he's got this wonderful face and coloring. What do you think? Isn't he lovely? His ears are lined in felt. He doesn't have a button, but can you see the wonderful stenciling and such on his face and his form? Just beautiful. That's the baby. And the much bigger, my goodness, this guy's giant. Look at this one. 
humongous. Also fully jointed, made out of the short pile plush with little mohair here. And what he's got that's so cool, let me unwrap it, is he has his original collar and muzzle and leash made out of leather. Look how nice this is. Now, these guys are really cool. These guys in the, appeared in the line from about 1906 to about 1918. And that was kind of the, also the heyday of the Buster Brown character, of course. They appeared in this wonderful short pile plush, which has a really early turn of the century look to it. They also appeared in all mohair. And I've seen them in like a really cool cinnamon kind of mohair. So they came in five sizes, ranging from about 17 centimeters to 43 centimeters. And I bet this is almost the biggest size, and I bet you think this is the smallest size. Might have come a little bigger than this. I don't have my measuring stick with me right now, but he's a very big boy. It's the size of a real bulldog puppy. And so a couple of things that made these fun is that they came with a number of different types of eyes. So these are shoe button eyes, nice early eyes. They also came in like large googly glass eyes that could be turned around for fun. And then, of course, they came with and without this collar and muzzle made out of leather. Very authentic, and very wonderful. These guys are in fabulous shape. I don't know about this ribbon. Let me see, do you have a button? He does, wow. That button, if my eyes don't deceive me, and that's very possible at this age, this appears to be a blank button with traces of a white ear tag. So this guy's from the really, really early part of that production time frame. You know, probably about early 1906 or so. So anyway, puppy love, can you believe how beautiful these are? In such nice condition for guys that are like over 100 years old. Can you imagine? We should all look so good at half that age. Anyway, that's what I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoy this unboxing or partial unboxing. Next time I see you, we'll do a full unboxing because I'll be healed. So that's what I have. Teddy hugs to all. Have a wonderful fall, wonderful October, and bye for now.